welcome to another episode of Waffle TV. My name is Jimmy. I'm here with the wonderful Nicole. Um, Nicole, just tell us a little bit about your show that you've done. Um, I'm doing an alternative comedy show. It's called Honeycomb Badgers on Acid, of obviously. Yeah, um, so it's a little bit different. Um, so it's basically like a variety show hosted by me, featuring me, and then shit gets cray. I'll be climbing <laughs> through the audience and stuff. I'll be wearing a fabulous yet stylish half cape. Practical. Yep. Um, <laughs> and <laughs> obviously, it has to be half where you can't move your arm. That's a fact. Yeah. Everyone knows that. Um, there's yeah characters, songs, videos, uh, poems. It's a little bit of everything and um, very much sort of a high energy, intense experience. Hopefully, amazing. <laughs> yeah, that's what we want. <laughs> and how? I mean, how did you go about getting the ideas and things for your show? Um, well, this is my fourth uh, comedy show that mm-hmm. I've done. Um, so the sort of like base idea basically started like after my first comedy gig. I was like, I want to do this thing where I ha- I, ha- I host it and I have characters. And it's sort of like a faux variety show instead of me, oh, he's my friend, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Um, But in that, um, it's all all inherently comedy and, you know, things sort of go wrong, quote unquote. Um, And the characters are very unhinged and interesting kind of people themselves. Um, And sort of songs and kind of um, satire, I think, maybe some like um, hints at political statements. And um, I don't know, it's just sort of stuff that... makes me laugh yeah. or that I think like I want to say something about this or I want to have a little comment where I kind of go consent is important kids uh-huh. like <laughs> you know what I mean to yeah <laughs> yeah, no, amazing, amazing. Now you're obviously from Sydney, yes. Australia. Um, yes, <laughs> Bathurst specifically. Um, but uh, how? I mean, how different is the comedy scene there compared to what we've got over here? Um, it's it's starkly different. Yeah. Um, I I don't actually do really that much stuff in Sydney. I don't really do like shorter spots and work the circuit per mm-hmm. se. Um, I basically do shows and do the festival circuit. Um, so yeah, this show has toured uh, uh, Perth Fringe World mm-hmm. in Western Australia, um, Adelaide Fringe Festival, and uh, the Melbourne International Comedy Festival. So one thing I definitely find is different is like the Australian mainstream comedy scene is very very mainstream Mm -hmm. like everyone sort of expects you to be like oh hey guys like why are there so many cans of milk Uh, (laughs) like my boyfriend said this and my girlfriend said that and my parents said this and like very like anecdote stuff about transport stuff about like very very relatable stuff and Mm -hmm. very like stand up this is stand up comedy i recognize this um whereas i find like here people that I would never have thought to give a flyer to um, come along to the show and they totally get on board with it and they dig it and they're like, "This that was fun, that was different, that was interesting, I yeah. really enjoyed that. And it's something that I never would have thought like would have happened, I guess. Yeah. And I, I think maybe here, maybe it's the fringe, maybe it's the UK scene in general, but I think people are a lot more open to comedy that's different. Yeah. And maybe it's because they're more seasoned, yeah. they're... Um, maybe they've seen enough kind of oh hey guys blah blah yeah. and they're interested in something a little bit different and yeah they they get they get on board with it they're up for it they're brilliant Amazing. yeah <laughs> now obviously who who would you say would be your kind of main inspirations or things the mighty bush the mighty bush okay. <laughs> yeah, <okay. laughs> like, you the question <laughs> the mighty bush yes, the mighty bush the the um, yeah, yeah. Uh, definitely the mighty bush their their whole um, with their live shows how they kind of come out and host it and they have mm-hmm. um, characters and um, these videos and stuff and different supporting um, roles and everything. Yeah. That was like the main, like I watched their live shows on DVD and I went, that's it. That's what I'm going to like okay. do with my life. Yeah. Um, and so that's like the whole reason that I started um, doing spots, that I wrote a show, that I, everything, it all came from just like watching that and going like, that's what I'm going to do. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever had the chance to meet like Noel Fielding or anything like that? Um, no, but I, I ran into um, Rich Fulcher, who okay. plays uh, Bob Fossil uh-huh. and various other roles um, in Melbourne, and it was just the worst. It was the worst. <laughs> uh, I just, just words, just so many words. Yep. Just, hey, I really like something the mighty birds are doing. It's really good. Thank you, really good. I went to come to your show, but I thought maybe it was sold out. It was just, Amazing. It was, like, so bad. <laughs> um, <laughs> I really hope that he doesn't remember it i'm just one of the many people that comes up and just, does that yeah. yeah it was just words Vomit. so many words yeah, there we go. <laughs> well i think i think no fielding's at the fringe so you'll need to what? try i think oh, he's doing he? a couple of nights so that has to be your mission <laughs> you know what I mean? to, to find him um and i'm wondering is that where did you come up with the title of honeycomb badgers on acid specifically um that is that is a question i get so much yeah. um 
Uh, all of my shows have been titles where I've just kind of put words together. Uh -huh. So the first one was um, Technicolor Sarcasm Brackets with Nazis. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> se second one was um, Naked Unicorn Vomit. Mm -hmm. And last year's one was Rainbow Rabbits with Rabies. Amazing. And it's something where I just sort of thought, like, I need to put, um, I guess, slightly disjointed words together. Uh -huh. um, and also with the artwork and stuff. It's yeah. kind of like a per se filtering technique. Mm -hmm. But basically, just because I find that people that really dig my stuff, they go like, that sounds crazy. Like, honeycomb badges on acid. What? Yeah. And the artwork's all rainbows and everything. And they're like, yeah, I'm up for that. Yeah. You know? Okay. And then people that wouldn't dig it probably go, mm, it's maybe not for me. Okay. And I think that's kind of a good yeah. way to kind of get the right people in and exactly. the right people, like, excited. And also people find it quite memorable yeah. when you just have this insane title. Uh, even if they don't remember all of it, they kind of go, oh, the show with the weird title and all the rainbows, I uh -huh. think. Let's go see that. Perfect. So, Who yeah. Who that? Amazing. <laughs> and where can we find the weird show with all the rainbows? <laughs> tell us. <laughs> Lovely segue. Yeah, Thank exactly. you so much. <laughs> um, I'm every day at uh, 7.15 at the staff room in the Free Sisters. Um, it's okay. a free entry show, so you get to try before you buy, basically. Easy as that. can't really go wrong. Amazing. Fantastic. Yeah. We have to check it out. Amazing. Thank you. This has been another episode of Waffle TV, sponsored by Boomers. <laughs>